welcome back to Vlogmas! Um, this may or may not be posted on a Monday for Makeup Mondays, but, um, if it is Monday, happy Makeup Monday. If not, this is just going to be a random upload during the week because I've been waiting to do this video and I'm so excited that I get to do it today. Um, hopefully it turns out cool, but I am going to be turning myself into the Grinch with everyday makeup products that you guys already have. I don't have any of the fancy kind of like grease paint makeup or like any kind of Halloween stuff. I will just be using eyeshadows and regular makeup. Uh, so we'll see how this goes, but uh, stay tuned to see that. Okay, so let's jump right in. The first thing I'm going to do is use my Tarte Poreless Primer and we're just going to put that all over my face. Ugh. I'm not going to put on any kind of foundation today because we're going to be green with eyeshadow. So uh, hopefully this turns out good. This is what I used to prime my face, Tarte Poreless Primer. Okay, so a couple years ago, you guys have seen this in many of my videos. A couple years ago, when I first got this, like the actual reason I got this was for doing Halloween makeup looks. Um, so we're really gonna take advantage of that today. I'm gonna take a big brush and I'm gonna go into Freak, which I have used in tutorials before. We're just gonna take a lot of that on and then we're just gonna put that all over our face. Okay, son, my face is fully covered in green eyeshadow and I hope it doesn't stain. Um, so, <laughs> the one downside of this makeup is that it's shiny. Uh, this this eyeshadow is shiny. Um, I also brought it down into my neck just a little bit. Um, I'll probably edit the picture to like cut off here on my Instagram or something because I don't feel like going all over here and then taking an entire shower to try and get it off. Um, so to help combat the shininess of this, we're gonna set it. Um, I have NYX HD Studio uh, Powder. My forehead does look a little blotchy, but that's because I have bangs, so you're really not even going to see that. <sighs> And this is a mattifying powder, so hopefully it... Disclaimer! I'm not a makeup artist. I do not claim to know how to do makeup. This is just how I do it and how I would do this look, I guess. I mean, not really, because it would probably... I love Glam and Gore, so I'd probably get a lot of products she recommends for this if I was doing this actually to, um, like an actual Grinch makeup. But I wanted to show you guys an easy way to achieve a Grinch look with products that you already have at home. So you don't gotta go out and buy anything fancy if you just wanna play Grinch at the Christmas party. I mean, you might want to, but you don't have to, and that's the point of this video. So I'm just gonna take that same brush, same brush, and I'm going to use the Grinch palette and go in with Who Cares, which I've also used on this channel before. Um, and we're just going to kind of shape out where we want our eyebrows to be in this darker green. And I have no eyebrows, so that makes this much easier. I need a smaller brush. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush. And he has wrinkles from his nose going down. So we're just gonna draw these out. Okay. 
Okay, so now that we have everything mapped out, um, I am going to go in with black and use it very sparingly. But I have a little angled brush here and I'm gonna put black and we're gonna go in and like um, make our eyebrows. We wanna make all the little hairs. And we're gonna blend this out too with a green so that it looks a little bit more uh, cohesive. I'm gonna bring my eyebrow up here because the Grinch is curved. And then we're gonna go back in with a small brush in the black. And we're just going to do a little detailing on all of these lines that we have already made. So once we have all of our darkness, um, lined out kind of we are going to go back in with a dark green and black mix feel free to mix them or just use black or green and we're just gonna work on shading these lines because we want them to look like they're like creases in our face and we're gonna highlight a little bit around them um to give the illusion of depth in there So change of plan guys, <laughs> um, I started doing a pop art kind of cartoony Grinch more than looking like the actual version because I've never been good at drawing actual people or lifelike things. So we are now a pop art uh, cartoon version of the Grinch. Um, and the only thing I did from what we last had, I darkened all these lines a little bit by using a little bit of black and green eyeshadow and then I took an eyeliner and I just lined everything to make it look kind of cartoony. Um, and I forgot the dots right here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so you want to make sure my eyes are not dark enough with the eyeshadow. So we're just gonna add more black. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the Grinch movie? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, if you have seen The Grinch, leave a comment below of your favorite part from it. And that can be the new Grinch movie that just came out, uh, the classic Grinch movie, or the Jim Carrey version, which is my absolute favorite. It makes the list of all time for my favorite Christmas movies because it's just that iconic. Okay, so next we're going to need to highlight. Um, and not like a traditional highlight, a little bit, but we just want to add a little bit of shimmer between the folds. I'm going to use a really bright green color. Um, got to put a little bit on my nose. Gonna put a little bit on my lip. Just gonna add a little bit between these guys and you kind of want to do it with the curve of your face like you don't want to have like parts that usually wouldn't be highlighted highlighted look on my jaw or like think about it if like the Sun hits you um where those those patches would be and since we're doing a cartoony Grinch yeah, it's gonna be a little bit exaggerated like above the eyebrow <laughs> but we're also trying to give the illusion that some parts of the face are puffed out and then 
Okay, so once we have a lighter green color under, I'm going to, where did it go? Um, I'm gonna go in with the cap on the alchemist because there is an emerald green here that's nice and shiny. And we're just gonna, it's like a whiter green too. We're gonna use that same brush and just re-go over all the areas that we just did. Oh, it's so pretty. And we just have to add some some mascara because you definitely know the Grinch has some mascara on. So I'm going to add this and then you guys are going to see my final look. Um, thank you for coming on this journey with me. I hope you liked my version of the Grinch. I hope it doesn't look like garbage. I watch a lot of these kind of makeup tutorials and I've always wanted to do a Grinch version. So I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys probably tomorrow.